Hey, First Baptist family, thanks for watching today's devotional video. And by the way, Merry Christmas. Uh, you know it's December and uh, Christmas is upon us. You can see the decorations here around our house. And if you're like me and my family, we love Christmas. We're excited about Christmas Day. And uh, you know it's coming. We get to celebrate the birth of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. You know, uh, one thing I really enjoy about Christmas is uh, I enjoy getting Christmas cards in the mail, you know, from our family and friends. Got some here, you know, just from some of our, uh, some of our, some of our family members that have sent Christmas cards, some friends that have sent us cards, and uh, we've got a stack here of cards from people that we know and love and care about. And you know, that's the thing. Uh, at Christmas, you send a card uh, or a picture or just a greeting, just to let your friends and your family know, hey, we love you, we're thinking about you, we care about you, and we care enough to go through the time uh, and the effort to send send a message, to send that card to you. Uh, to, to, to let you know how much we care. Well, you know, uh, this morning, as, uh, as we begin uh, our weekly Bible reading, we're in the book of 1 Timothy. And in 1 Timothy chapter 3, uh, 1 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16, we see a picture not so much of, of, of a card that Jesus, uh, or that God sends to us, we see instead that God sends himself to us. Not just a message, he sends himself to us. Listen to this verse, uh, 1 Timothy 3, verse 16. Paul writes, he says, Great indeed we confess, is the mystery of godliness. He was manifested in the flesh, vindicated by the Spirit, seen by angels, proclaimed among the nations, believed on in the world, and taken up in glory. Paul just gives us a basic synopsis of the life of Christ. Uh, but notice that first phrase, he was manifested in the flesh. In other words, God became flesh. He came to dwell among us. He didn't just send a card. He sent himself. What an amazing reality that the God of heaven would love us as sinful people so much that he wouldn't just make a way of salvation for us, but he would be that way himself. He would come himself to make a means of salvation for us by the death and the burial and the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. God sent himself to us to save us. But did you notice there's another message about being sent here? We were told that the gospel is proclaimed among the nations. And guess how that happens? It's through us. We, just like a card, we're sent out to the world to proclaim the good news that Jesus is God's son, that he came to this world in the form of a baby, that he lived a perfect life. He died on the cross and he rose from the dead on the third day so that you and I could not only have eternal life, but that we could have a relationship with God and the abundant life that God created us to have in him. What a wonderful message. And so as you celebrate this Christmas, uh, don't just send cards or receive them. Let's be faithful to share the good news that God sent himself to save us. And let's proclaim that to a world that's in need. Would you pray with me? Father, I thank you so much for your word. And I thank you, God, for the gift that you give us through your son, Jesus. I thank you, Father, for uh, the fact that you didn't just send a message. God, you sent yourself to save us. And Lord, we praise your name. We give you honor and glory. And may this Christmas season, may you send us out, Father, to share your good news with the world that needs to hear it. And we ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen.